Hi everyone. It is still February 21, 2018. I want to read a comment here left by Michael 12, and I want to thank you, Michael 12, for informing me that my white helmets video that I posted today is age restricted. I didn't put that restriction on it. I don't even understand why that restriction is on it. YouTube did it. Artificial intelligence is operating already and I do believe that it is operating here on social media. So they don't have these people, uh, this army of people viewing everybody's video and determining whether or not there should be a restriction placed on it. Why this one was, this was a uh, James Corbett video. Why it's age restricted I don't know. He also writes, no comments allowed. I went to the video, I saw comments. Understand this. <clears throat> With this artificial intelligence, um, you could do a Google search with the exact same keywords in the exact same position on Google as I, as I do, and we can get different results. How could that be? Because Google has been able to profile all individuals. Everything that we are doing on social media is that data is being collected and analyzed and they come up with these profiles and so many people think, oh, it's just about, you know, advertisements. So if I write in an email even, if I write, I like a, a particular dress, I'll go on Drudge and I will see advertisements for dresses. So it's not just in social media, it's our emails, all the information. And because I suppose with quantum computers they can analyze that, come up with profiles on every individual, and Google is giving search results for the individuals who are doing a Google search. That's why very often people are coming up with different search results. This is a very creepy and scary technology, this artificial intelligence, which I'm going to be getting to in a moment. But here, he writes for the video that I posted, Google, YouTube, uh, using the tactics to censor truth. He writes, when watching this video, there are no recommended videos, just a white screen, and your view count went way down. Well, I'm hearing from so many subscribers, you're not getting notifications, uh, and yeah, they manipulate the numbers. They do not want the truth out. That That is an absolute truth, or uh, absolute fact. So they do everything everything, all of these tactics are being used because they don't want to just come out and say, hey, we're censoring the truth. Um, so they manipulate everything. Oh, I hate that. Anyway, yeah, this world is becoming pretty creepy. So any vision, facial recognition cameras are being installed in smart meters everywhere, in smart cities, sorry, everywhere. So these cameras that you see in stores, on the streets, on, um, on lamp posts. The facial recognition is already going on. That is absolute. And we do know that we don't get to hear about this kind of stuff until it's already been researched, experimented, and rolled out for use and then we get to hear about it. So the facial recognition already, already, they have the capability to use the CCTV surveillance cameras to zone in or zero in right on your face and whether it's in real time yet, I believe it is, that they can identify you if not in real time, they can do it within seconds. Artificial intelligence is already operating. So, um, and 
well, that's not artificial intelligence. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but is that a good thing? Is that a good thing when you're walking down the street or you're in a store or even in your car that they have this surveillance capability? It's not good at all. And unfortunately, so many people are enthralled. They love this technology. They just don't understand that this technology is going to come up and bite them. It's going to be used against them. This technology is going to be trapping us into, you know, a technological grid where they will be able to get all information. When 5G rolls out real time, they will be able to access information, all the information that they want about our life, how we're living it, where we are. And, you know, then you have all the people who you know, are scared because they have been so manipulated by the propaganda and by the false flag attacks. And they're scared. So they think it's a great thing. It's not. It's not. I will link below to all of all of these um, articles that I'm going to be going through. But yeah, it's an Israel-based company that profits from spying on everyone. Oh man! So five months ago, the the Any Vision is a company, but there's another company which is Nvidia. I don't know how to pronounce it, but. Uh, they're working together to put facial recognition cameras in cities across the globe. And five months ago, NVIDIA also wants, or he warned everyone that NVIDIA also wants to turn police vehicles into 360-degree facial recognition platforms. I, I absolutely do believe that Excuse me. Sorry, I had something in my throat. I absolutely do believe that they are using facial recognition already. You know, why else did they set up all of those fusion centers? Why do they have these mega buildings where they're collecting all of this data? They've been at this for so long. And when they finally begin to pull together all of the technology that they have, which will be 5G and the Internet of Things, maybe that's when people will begin to recognize, okay, maybe my support of this technology was not such a great thing because it's going to come down hard on people, very hard. The facial recognition cameras already can identify marathon runners in real time. In real time. What was that TV show where you saw them using this technology? Oh God, I can't remember the name of it, but they were already using this technology and everybody thought, oh Carol, it's just a TV show. No, they, they have been able to use it. All they needed was to get the hardware out, the infrastructure set up. Also, I want to show you that a subscriber left this link. World's most powerful tractor beam, like a pair of robot hands. The levitation technique uses a bank of speakers to create a tornado of sound waves, which can lift and contain small objects. It can also, I have no doubt, lift you up. We'll watch this short video right here. Oops. Study, activate tractor beam. Lock onto that aircraft and hold it up there. We run out of tools to make like 
things at a really small scale. So, you know, our hands obviously can pick up things at, at, on a human scale. As we get smaller and smaller, I think you hear of cells. There's just a limited number of different ways which we can grab hold and, and move cells. But yeah, there are plenty of reasons why we might want to do that. Human levitation is theoretically possible. There's no physics that gets in the way of doing it, actually. The equations say that it, it, it is a theoretical proposition. So, um, this technology really is not very, very good because they always present it as, it's going to be wonderful. We're going to be able to do surgeries without cutting people up. We're just going to be able to use sound and we can... Well, we can rid the body of a kidney stone. We can move it just with sound. We don't have to operate. Well, that sounds great, doesn't it? Except if they will be also using this technology against us. So let's say you have AI and you've got um, facial recognition. Let's say that you are considered by your government to be, hmm, uh, a an activist you know you're not going along with the program of your government well they can employ this kind of technology to find out exactly where you are facial recognition they can employ this kind of technology the sound to literally lift you and hold you in a state of uh, levitation off the ground and then they can send some drone that will either take you out or they will hold you in place until the police suddenly show up and grab you. Now, that scenario that I just presented, do you think it's far-fetched? Certainly, if you told me this 10 years ago, I would have said, uh, okay. Well, it's not far-fetched. And in fact, um, this article sent by a subscriber. I want to thank you all. Experts warn AI poses a clear and present danger. A new report by leading experts calls on governments and businesses to address the clear and present danger posed by unregulated AI. So we already have AI operating. Can it be used for total human annihilation? Yes, it can. In the wrong hands? In psychopathic, narcissistic, evil hands? Yes. So I'm going to get to the report in a second, The Malicious Use of Artificial Intelligence. And it was co-authored by experts from Oxford University, the Center for the Study of Existential Risk, uh, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and an awful lot of researchers from universities and um, organizations. The three primary areas of risk that were identified, digital security, the risk of AI being used for increasing the scale and efficiency of cyber attacks. These attacks could be to compromise other systems by reducing laborious tasks or it could exploit human error with new attacks such as speech synthesis. Now I got a comment under uh, a recent video that I posted about this technology that they now have and pretty much perfected in terms of being able to make fake videos simply by a picture of you on the internet. They can take that picture of you and create a fake video where it looks exactly like you, it sounds exactly like you, but it ain't you. So, the malicious uses of this technology, I don't think it's, I don't think I need to provide an example for you, but I will. All right. Somebody wants to take you down, they use this technology to do it. They see you, uh, they make a, vi a fake video of you in a compromising position, uh, and suddenly you're getting fired or... Uh, and or your rep reputation is destroyed. How do you defend against this technology? 
Physical security, the idea that AI could be used to inflict direct harm on living beings or physical buildings, systems, infrastructure. And some provided examples include connected vehicles being compromised to crash, or even situations once seen as dystopian, such as swarms of micro drones. Well, we know our military already has those uh, swarming bots. And I posted a video on uh, a military plane unleashing all of these micro drones and how they were able to uh, use artificial intelligence to direct all of these drones. Do you really think that our military is not going to be using this technology against us? They will. They want absolute control over everything. You want to talk pathological? You want to talk control freaks? Well, look at our military and look at our government. And look at the military and governments all over the world and look at the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers. These are not well... Uh, are they even... They're, they're kind of subhuman. They're... Well, we can't really figure out what the hell they are. But um, clearly they don't have much decency. Political security. The researchers highlight the possibility of AI automating the creation of propaganda or manipulating existing content to sway opinions. So with the allegations of Russia using digital means to influence the outcome of the U.S. presidential elections and other key international decisions, for many people, this will be the clearest example of the present danger. Um, potential scenar uh, scenarios. Chatbots, which mimic the writing styles of friends or family members to gain trust and could even mimic them over a video call. A cleaning robot. Well, before I get in, into the next one, years ago, and I cannot find the research that I learned this, when I was still in Great Barrington, so it was many years ago, doing the research and coming across uh, a paper where they were recording voices and I wish I could remember more details about this but that they would send people out to target particular individuals and you wouldn't know because they were complete strangers but they would want you to say specific words. So they would ask questions to evoke those words from you. And they had all of that being recorded. So once they got those particular words, they were also looking for inflection in responses to certain questions. They then had your voice just with a few words, just with a few inflections, and they were able to mimic your voice as if you were having a conversation. And I'm sure I posted that on my original Kafka Winston World channel. And I had the very weirdest experience in a supermarket in Great Barrington with these two people who were asking me the most bizarre questions and I have to tell you one who I it was strange anyway so yes they and somebody left a comment saying that they don't have the precision that I think that they do I think that they absolutely do I do believe that they can mimic many people's voices um, and it sounds exactly like the person. Also a cleaning robot which goes into a government ministry daily but has been compromised to detonate an explosive device when a specific figure is spotted, a state-powered IA um, AI system that identifies anyone who contradicts government policy and promptly flags them for arrest the creation of a fake video of a high-profile figure 
saying or doing something controversial which leads to them to lose their job. So these researchers are joining together um, and asking for the AI community, policymakers, legislators, as long as well as the experts and those involved with AI to really think about what they're doing. The researchers wrote in the report the proposed interventions require attention and action, not just from AI researchers and companies, but also from legislators, civil servants, regulators, security researchers, and educators. The challenge is daunting and the stakes are high. Now, I am going to link below to the report the malicious use of artificial intelligence forecasting prevention and mitigation and it is 101 pages and um, starting on page 23 they have the scenarios and when you're reading those scenarios you gotta really you know this is the way AI will be used I have no doubt but all of these centers and universities and individuals have been are um, they collaborated collaborated on this very important report uh, report wow can I not talk and it's getting very very frustrating so the report surveys the landscape of potential security threats for or from malicious uses of artificial intelligence technologies and proposes ways to better forecast prevent and mitigate these threats um, and I will link below to this to this, you know, when you read some of the threats, well, it's unfortunate that, you know, we really don't have any control over this new uh, world that we are living already and how dark it's coming to become. Um, but, boy, you know, they discuss robots taking out humans. They discuss the very easy targeting of individuals. Anybody who goes against government, well, you better realize that, yeah, you are going to be picked up very quickly. Very quickly. So, 23. I'm not going to read any of these, but the hypothetical scenarios. Check it out, guys. All links are below.